Hey y'all, this is Sarah. I wanted to jump on here really quick. I am doing a collaboration with um, ZSCM with their brush markers and I wanted to show you guys these markers really quick. So I have the 132 count kit is what I'm gonna be showing. They do have bigger ones um, and smaller ones. Really quick, I'm gonna share what the packaging says. It's a dual tip brush and fine, brush and fine liner marker. Um, so you get both ends, which I really like because if you're a planner kind of person, you get the fine liner end to be able to write in your planner and it match everything you just did. So that part's really cool to me. It says perfect for adult coloring books, sketches, illustrations, drawing, planning, journal, notebooks, calendar, graphic design, art projects, and more. I agree. I've already been playing with this set. And I can't wait to show you how pretty some of these colors are. So it does come with a little uh, small scale. I don't know what size this is. Probably 8 inches maybe. 7 inches. Not a very big one. But it has a swatch page at the beginning. You can see these colors. I have not colored in it. These are kind of small for me to even try. But... I did do the swatches and played with these a little already, but let me show you. First of all, this is a pretty this is a pretty hefty collection of markers. Um, I'm gonna tell you this thing. The camera distorts images from this particular angle, but this thing's pretty chunky with markers. It's got a handled zipper bag unzip it all the way so this is what you get when you fold it open and you also get these fold out here and here so my collection has 22 markers across each um, each line here but this is the really cool thing and when I tell you that this case is pretty heavy duty, I've gotten several collections that I've bought on my own. And they came in cases, but the cases were nothing like this one. So the base of this one is Velcro. Um, or hook and loop type material. This is the loop material and this is the hook on the back of here. These sit up really nicely. take this one out and the velcro works really good but if you wanted to reuse this for something else um, you could always pop some velcro on the back of whatever you want to use it with and be able to pop it into this and I will likely at some point do that because um, I have not been storing these markers this way see how awesome this is I got to tell you, I love some of the colors. I got to point out a few of the colors. I'm going to take these markers further and actually do some artwork with it. But I don't know if you guys can see this color like this 107 and 106 range. Do you see how faint those colors are? I love colors like that. Can you see some of those faint, like that faint periwinkle? I like really soft colors like that, especially for... Um, planner doodles so I was really excited to get some colors that I found to be really neutral right quick I'm gonna show you how I'm storing these just so you have an idea um, I have questions all the time about my various storage methods so this is what I have my other um, random brands of brush markers in and if you notice it's got this section back here the really cool thing about having these was that I could just fold them over it fit perfectly down in here and now I have all of mine together my swatch book will slide right in there this came from 
I am almost sure this came, this little plastic thing was on clearance for like three bucks at my local grocery store. Um, I'm in Texas. We have HEB. They put things at the end of seasons on a pretty good clearance. This was a pretty nice plastic. It's just the right height for these. It had just the right ability to section it off. And this particular collection, this larger collection that I have, I'm able to keep together right here along with my other one. So I found it to be really handy to do that. And I already have ideas of recycling this bag um, and making it usable because it does have this kind of hook and loop system in it. And it has a pretty decent thickness to it. So two for one win, I get extra storage and I get beautiful markers to play with, with really fantastic colors. I was a little nervous doing any kind of collaboration with markers that I hadn't really gotten to test out. And I wanted to make sure that I asked first, hey, what if it turns out that I'm not a big fan? I'm actually a big fan. Um, that's not made up. I played with them. I'm not particularly good at brush markers yet. I prefer highlighters. So I still need a little practice, but the ink on these went on really well. So it made me feel like I was doing a little better than what I usually do with some of my brush markers. It glided on a little more uniform for me. So I did end up liking these markers a lot. I was really thrilled with them and I can't wait to show you some artwork with them. That's all I wanted to share. I was really excited. I wanted to pop on and at least show all those pretty colors that I'm looking forward to playing with with you guys if you have questions about markers maybe that'll answer um, some brush marker questions